All right, so this is construction coming out of Brattleboro. We're starting just at the Gulf and Cumberland Farms headed west. The road surface starts to change just past Chelsea Royal Diner, which is right there on the right. And no, we have absolutely no idea what is going on with this Nissan. It's all over the place in the road in front of us for the entire trip. As we can see on the road surface, it is hard packed dirt underneath a bunch of loose scree, which will make driving interesting and riding even more so. So unless you're really good at it or really confident, I wouldn't do it, especially with all the dust, with all the traffic that's coming through. There are some significant potholes. Hopefully they'll have them taken care of by the weekend, but given how much traffic we're going to see, I would expect them to resurface fairly quickly. And this dirt track goes on for probably, I would say, four miles at the date of the recording. Uh, this was recorded on the 24th, and they will definitely be working past then. They've also necked it down from two lanes on a bunch of the uphill sections to one lane, mostly where they have already done the full depth milling and uh, incorporation. This I do think is the first pass of full depth and incorporation because I haven't seen them put any uh, soil stabilization mixture in the tanks for it. It just appears to be water at this point. So they will probably, once they get everything milled out and first batch of incorporation done and the grade set for the new road surface, come back and remill do full depth incorporation on everything again, this time with soil stabilization in place. Because you really can't Resculpt the road surface once that stuff is in there and set. Um, that being said, as we'll see coming up, or as we see already, there's stakes on either side of the road with little paper plates on them. Those, I believe, have grade changes for what they're going to be doing to the road surface. Hopefully they can fix a bunch of the off-camber corners and make the road surface drain a little bit better than it does. There's a few corners and a few places it does not drain as well. One of the corners we're approaching uh, is particularly bad, especially in the winter. This one right here and its complementary corner up the road are very bad in the winter. This one, the inside has the correct camera, the outside does not, so you'll find yourself in the guardrail if you're not being careful. Um, we are now getting into Marlboro, for those familiar with the area, and still on dirt. We'll hit a little bit of pavement just where the bridges are, but other than that, they were doing full depth incorporation here today. And as you can see, there used to be a climbing lane here. They've necked it down to one lane northbound, one lane, or westbound, one lane eastbound. Uh, instead of two westbound lanes, one climbing, one not. They did finish off in just a little ways, but then we get into the scarified surfaces on pavement with some dirt strewn throughout where they're doing culverts. And I believe they're actually removing road fabric from where they put culverts in the last couple of years, just so it doesn't bind up the uh, machine they're using, which will be shown here on the left. Not the greatest view, but that's it. And they got a little ways up this hill. I don't think they finished it. So we should get back onto pavement just shortly. They definitely haven't put in the, uh, the neck down because it's still got two lanes west, one lane east. By the time the weekend rolls around at the rate they're going, this section will also have been milled 
and fully incorporated. And they will probably be stopping, if I had to guess, about noon on Friday, which will put it somewhere around here, although it may potentially even get down this hill and into in front of the Marlboro Town Garage. Um, we don't take the full road, but this will give you an, an idea of what you're getting into when you do come through, if you decide to stay on Route 9 coming east from Wilmington, or if you're going west from Bradbor into Wilmington. There is, as you can see, a lot going on, and a lot that you won't see just because we don't deal with it. Um, so they've been pulling out road fabric here. Uh, again, I think it was too shallow for the full incorporation. And they've had some culverts that they put in there the last couple of years. So getting rid of that stuff so that it doesn't bind up that machine, because I wouldn't want to try to clean that stuff out of the drum. If I had to predict, the furthest they're going to get is probably somewhere on this stretch before Friday. And you'll probably find that subsurface incorporation machine parked over here on the left by the 18-wheeler. Um, they are, this whole stretch has been scarified. It is down to one layer of pavement. There were potholes that went completely through all three or four layers of pavement that were on here. So please do be careful if you do decide to ride on this as they will jump out at you. Uh, we pull off here, but there's a lot more that's going on. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps me out and it lets you know when I put something new up. New videos will be going up on Tuesdays or Thursdays at 8 a.m. Eastern. And if I do decide to do live streams, I will try to give 24 hours notice. So hit the subscribe button on the channel and you'll be notified when I post that stuff too. Hope to see you next time. Sharps out.